Hello everyone, this is Jelaine and I'm back with another video for my creative scrapbook and today I'd like to show you one of my projects and a technique with the main kit for the month of October and this is the project, it's a layout and your main kit for this month features the farmhouse collection by Crate Paper it's really really pretty fall colors and patterns and I created this layout of my daughter who likes to collect fallen leaves every season and we put them in a book so here I call this layout leaf collector and I have some stitching and some layering here and I also have a burlap banner which you can see a tutorial on how to make this banner on our tips and tricks thread in the message board if you visit my creative scrapbook and also on your main kit you will find this really cool chicken wire chipboard piece by Dusty Attic and it's a square panel, it's a large panel and I cut up mine in pieces and I sprinkled it throughout my project you can see a piece here and another piece right over there and today I'm going to show you how I created the texture here let me see if I can show you this texture right here I did some embossing to give it more texture and make it more rustic looking and that's what we're going to do right now Alright, so this is my chipboard piece and when you receive it, it will look just like this and it's in a natural color, I will show you like this and the first thing we are going to do is paint our chipboard you probably don't have to paint it if you don't want to but I like to paint it because um, if you're looking at your chipboard from the side, you may see the brown, the natural color pick through in the design. So I just want to be safe and paint it completely. And I'm using this color right here. This is called Bittersweet Chocolate by Americana. And it's comparable to the espresso. Paint Dabber by Tim Holtz. If you have that, it's much easier. I just, I ran out of mine. So here we go. And I'm just working on a piece of printer paper to make it easier on myself. And I think I'm well covered here. Really quickly, really fast. And I'm just going to remove that. Actually, I'm going to just move it to this side and heat it with my heat gun to make it dry faster. And I think mine is completely dry. And you want to make sure that your piece is completely dry because we are going to be using our stamp pad and if it's not, then you are going to ruin your stamp pad. And so here we are. And now I'm going to use Versamark. And this is a watermark stamp pad. Um, Tim Holtz also has Distress Embossing, I think. It works the same way. And before I do that, I'm going to take a piece of cardstock I'm working on over cardboard. The cardboard helps protect my surface from the heat and I'm just going to fold this in half so that once we sprinkle embossing powder I can recover it and put it back in the bottle. So that's done and now just take your embossing, pa um, embossing pad and ink your piece, your chipboard piece. And here we go. 
so there we go and now I'm going to cover it with Distress Embossing Powder and this one is in Vintage Photo and just cover the entire thing and it looks reddish but once you heat set it, it will change. It will it will turn into that rust color we saw in my layout. So here we are. It's completely covered. And now I'm going to just shake it off a little bit. And we have to catch all of that emulsion powder back. And just set all the powder in there. Now, you don't need more than one coat when you're doing this. Um, and you will know that you are all done when the crystals kind of like burn and get rusted like this. But in my case, I do want lots of texture, so I'm going to go for another second coat. So I'm just going to apply more of my ink pad of my watermark ink and sprinkle some more of the embossing powder just like we did before and let me put back right here this is all dirty anyway oh yeah you can tell now it's a lot more rustic Check off the excess and look at that. That's what we're looking for. And just pour it back in the bottle. And heat set it once again. Alrighty then, we are finished and what I did to mine is that I went back and using the brown paint I just touched it a little bit in random places so that it doesn't look completely uniform. So here I'll show you. Um, you can use your brush if you want and you're not painting it at this point. All you want to do is just give it a little bit of color here and there. So it looks just like this. And that's it. Really easy and quickly to make this rustic technique for your chicken wire chipboard piece. Again, found in your October main kit over on my creator scrapbook. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.